<laughs> What's up, <laughs> you guys? It's Jupiter here to bring your soulmate erotic after our tarot reading. Now, this is some new, new shit to my channel. Thank you if you're here supporting it. Thank you if you're here and just, you know, seeing what the fuck is up, what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is not for them little babies, so I do want to give a quick disclaimer that this is 18 and over. So, um, I know it'll be little kids on YouTube and no offense because I'm pretty sure you guys are going through some grown experiences as to why you found yourself on these channels but please click the fuck off <laughs> please little baby no offense but click off okay step off but yeah we're about to get into this and see what's going on i have um oh okay yeah quick real quick real quick real quick real, real quick um these energies are very interchangeable. Take what resonates, leave the rest, leave it all, live your life. Um, I am very quickly, I'm using the Monera Erotic Tarot deck. Um, I usually use cards. I will be using a deck of cards by Monera as well. So the images that you are about to see are very explicit. And that is why I say this is not for them little babies. So enough talking. Let's see what is going on. Okay, somebody wants your extra time. Or they don't want your extra time, they just want your kiss. <laughs> this is a uh, prince, by the way. Kiss. Somebody will kiss your body. And I have no specifics. There's no specific place in my mind. They just want to kiss it, so... <laughs> This is me splitting the deck that I have shuffled over. And we're going to see what the how the soulmate is feeling um, sexually towards their divine counterpart. Now, this is for people who are typically not in a good place with their counterpart. They're not in union. They're not really talking or they're not talking at all. I would, I would rather say no communication because you know the, the visuals yes this is for no communication i'm not even going to not be sure about that this is for no fucking communication so this is for those motherfuckers that's constantly pulling on your energy wanting to kiss on your body and you're not understanding why your energy is being pulled the way it is and well this is motherfucking why because someone is has an, a, a string attached to that ass, literally, to that ass, whether they tasted that ass or not. And yes, I said tasted ass. <laughs> Some of y'all nasty. Don't try to, don't do that. Don't try to blame me. I ain't got nothing to do with this nasty shit, okay? <laughs> nothing. Nothing to do with this nasty shit, okay? Yes. Quartz <laughs> flying out. Words flying out. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Because sometimes when I'm doing these readings, not even sometimes, a lot of the times. And I know leaving out a Scorpio season, there's definitely a lot of sexual built-ups. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just a handful of cards just going to fall on the... What the fuck? I hate when the cards fall on the floor, you guys. Those are the cards I don't read, so. <clears throat> I do apologize. I do have a cold. So, in this instant, it's kind of low-key choking me. So, I'm glad it's burnt out now. So, let's continue. Let's continue. We got this commercial that's just cramping my style bloody commercial out of here no i turned it right no so i i was turning it from the commercial and the song started to play and it was we found love in a hopeless place so now i fucked that up 
The next song is Killing Me Softly by the Fugees. Killing Me Softly with his words. Telling my whole life. Killing Me Softly with his song. This is, um, I think it's Roberta Flack. Roberta, I'm, I, I'm, I got her last name wrong, I feel like. But this is definitely a remake with the Fugees. Hey, one time, one time. <laughs> Ew, so I had... <coughs> <coughs> Hit that note. <laughs> Ooh. That was my cue. Yes, I have a cold, you guys. So, anyways, <clears throat> let's get into this. <clears throat> Strumming my pain with his fingers. <clears throat> so, um, Woo, you guys. <clears throat> My throat is scratchy. And I'm trying to do too much. Talking shit. Singing. Anyways. I pulled the... The Ace of Air. And... Okay, come on. This is the Moon card. And this is the world card. <laughs> Toot that thing up. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is going to be new, like I said. So, I'm still trying to get my, my footing, you know. I'm still trying to get around it. I haven't practiced it that much, that much. Because I have other things in the works that I'm really excited to present to you guys in the future. <coughs> but we're going to see. So, what uh, what turns your, your maid on? What turns them on? Shit. This is just about to be like... Can I have like come on come on y'all bear with me you guys <clears throat> so you guys your beauty is what turns them on your soulmate. You you have this this it's like your smartness. It's like the way you think, the way you respond to things, um your intellect, your intelligence your intuition all the ends <laughs> no but like seriously like this person is in the your beauty and your the 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 beauty of your mind as well like how smart you are is what turns them on like that's so sweet <laughs> that's like really fucking sweet you guys I'm expecting it to be a lot more raunchier than um, that, but, <laughs> you know, that's a turn on. That's what's up. That's what's up. They have that with you, you know, as far as, like, you know, how beautiful you are and, and <coughs> your physical beauty <coughs> with how smart you are. This person feels like yeah, 
they are infatuated with you. You inspire them. First of all, you inspire them. And that makes them infatuated with you. Like you, it, it's all your mind. It's all you, your inside, who you are is what truly turns this person on. Um, they feel like you could bring happiness to them by just how much, how infatuated they're with you. Now, infatuation is not always the, the most positive of feelings to have, like, because, you know, it can become that over toxic, it could just be toxic, uh, you know, once it reaches full infatuation, like, you know... You never want somebody just to be that fucking... I mean, this is this is good, though, because your mind is on here. It's not just you. I, that's that's how I would say that. If somebody is just too infatuated with your physical appearance, then it's like, that's, that's empty. That's an empty victory. That's watered down. At some point, that person is going to... Because shit, your looks fade. Not, not necessarily your looks, but your body and your, you know the way you're able to dress yourself up that can all fade that can that's all not like you know that's not who you are at the end of the day it's who you can make yourself up to be or look like it's like you you know it's a suit it's just a suit for work type shit um but this person is infatuated with your mind they're infatuated with everything about you it's kind of creepy but anyways um <laughs> um This person wants to, I feel like, <coughs> I feel like they want to, they want you to come through. <laughs> I'm always trying to figure this shit out by the world card, but I'm like, they want you to come through. I get all this in love with your your person you, who you are and the inside of you your mind the way you think your intellect your intelligence the way you were raised they are in love and infatuated with all of that now sexually now you know i'm trying to get that juice in that tea now like let me let me know what's the what's <laughs> come on now <laughs> i'm about to pull a few more cards from now this is from my um, monera card deck so we're going to get straight into this. This person in this song is saying that somebody's been hiding you. So you're not, this person, you're not talking to this person. And they're asking, where have you been? Where have you been? They're wondering if you, you've been with somebody else. You, you fucking with somebody else. Is somebody else interested in you? Like, what's, what's going on? Like, why haven't I heard from this person? So, <clears throat> this person is, they're thinking deeply about where you are at, what happened to you. This, this person was very careless in the past, of course, we, we know that they they feel like they have in they have went through the consequences of their actions of how they treated you cuz i guess they've been depressed and they were fucking bamboozled hoodwinked by some person that they were with that basically they this this the person that they tried to hook up with did them were they were a reflection of their lower vibration like all day this person this it could have been you know like say if it's you know your soulmate is a man and they hooked up with a karmic woman that bitch was a dog she was a fucking dog and what i mean by that like just how men can be dogs and you know treat a woman be so careless with their you know so cold and shut off and whatever detached this this female was that way so i'm calling her a dog because if i wanted to call her a bitch i'd call her a bitch but this bitch was a dog so she was just as rough and rugged as he was or as he could have been 
And so he got his ass handed to him. What song is this? This is the weekend scissor. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> she got him on the weekend. Yeah, no, we're not. No. So we know what that is. But this person has equally suffered the, the, the actions of their own hand, so to speak. So with the six of hearts and the moon, they're definitely being very nostalgic and reminiscent of the time that they shared with you. Um, thinking about how they spent time with you, how they slept next to you. Um, it's almost like their memories whisper to them. Which is weird as fuck. Which means this person is constantly sitting up thinking about your ass. Dreaming about undressing you. Dreaming about... Like, look how whimsical she looks. Like, she's just dreaming of the ships in the past that she could have sailed off. And, you know, been popping with somebody. And she, you know, up. She don't even know her titty. She Janet Jackson right now. She, didn't even, she don't even know her titty just slipped out. Like... She's just all exposing herself. But that's how deeply in thought she is about. She That's how far she, away she is from where she's at right now. Your man is my man and her. Yeah, this person was playing this game with you. This soulmate was... Just know this shit was fun to them. They thought it was all fun, fun. And now they're sitting up like having big problems over that shit. Like big heartbreak over that shit dumb dumb shit so with the two of hearts um it's, this soulmate is hopeful they have a, a glimmer of hope of just being able to move from past what they did they it's like they're moving slowly to try to heal themselves and not fuck up things with you completely um they want to come back they want to you know have some type of relationship with you but they're they have this sense of nothing lasts forever just like you know it was too good to be true i knew it wasn't gonna last type of persona persona it's like that's what they they're telling themselves to excuse me to feel better about themselves um they feel like you are a very important person to their life though like it's like, I'm, I'm looking at this woman, and she's looking at this tiger, and it's like she's trying to coerce him to come, the tiger to come out. Like, it's safe. She's not scared, though. Like, she's not scared of how vicious this person was, so this could have been you and your soulmate, just you wasn't scared to love this person, although it, it you probably seen a couple fucking red flags, you know? <laughs> But this person wants to ride your pony. They also want to be with you in a very sexual, hot manner. I'm so mad this ain't, this is not as juicy as I thought it would be. Like, so I'm gonna pull one more card to see if we can get some juice and some tea up out this shit. Cause damn, seeming a little dry over here. <laughs> they loving your mind and shit. Okay, yes. Tell me something I don't know. You left my insides. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all trying to trying to squeeze some nasty shit out of this shit. No, but look. I felt like this was uh, something that I was guided to do because it the energy definitely was stalking my readings. Like, okay, somebody wants to jump your bones again. <laughs> Excuse me, again. Whoever's energy is coming through, again. So let's see, let's see, let's see. <coughs> um, walking. Mary J. Blige, Walking is on. I've never heard that song before. I thought I knew Mary's shit. So anyways, we got the three of fire here. And Pete, Pete gave me, I'm sorry. So 
We got this guy in the park. <laughs> now y'all know that you know what they say about that park sex. They be having little online meetups where you can find motherfuckers that's doing this shit out in certain parks. <laughs> Now, don't go rushing. Now, now, don't everybody go rushing on Google trying to find how to find that shit out. <laughs> but I have definitely, definitely heard of that kinky ass shit. So, with the three of fire. Um, this person. They want to take the initiative. They want to come towards you. They want to... They want to assert themselves more and see where it, where it is that this can lead them. Like, I feel like this person probably was very afraid to move forward with you in any type of way. Like, you know, like this person, like he's all scared. Like he got this scary ass look. Like he got this beautiful bitch on top of him and he's scared. He's scared. He got one hand on her, like... He's scared, but she's scared. She looks scared. I mean, she... Save me! <laughs> she on some... Save me. I'm butt naked in the woods, and you sitting here. Save me. And he like, oh my god, what am I gonna do with this this girl? Like, this... Oh my... Did she, is she on me? Like, uh, if I move, like, my dick gonna be, like, rock hard. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, look at his feet down there. His feet is, like, all awkwardly crossed, like, trying to, like, pit, like trying to pinch his, like, trying to squeeze his butt cheeks type shit. <laughs> trying to squeeze his butt cheeks to just, like, I mean, that to me, squeezing his butt cheeks, that, and, and it could be a girl that feel like that to a woman, but it's, like, to me, that means trying to hold back a feeling that they really 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 fucking want to express whether that's to ravage your ass and make love to you right on the spot or whatever they just felt like they were holding back from that every time they got around you so this next card is <coughs> is the three of water so she doing a dead man's float. <laughs> I'm supposed to make this sound sensual, but that's what she doing. That's what she doing. <laughs> I don't even, I feel like, is she underwater? I guess she could be a little underwater, but what else? <laughs> she doing a dead man's float, which, by the way, if you do not know how to swim, throw your ass in a dead man's float and you will make it, okay? Fill your lungs up with air. So with the three of water, this is someone feeling free to free to express themselves about their personal feelings. They definitely are in their emotions and their feelings and thinking about communicating with you and talking to you about something that is very personal to them their feelings how they feel towards you how they feel about you now with this five of water you see now you know it's like old girl was doing a dead man's float and then oh you know here come old boy coming in and flipping her over like look you can you can float like this too <laughs> we all float down here <laughs> Y'all know that's it, if y'all don't know. I just did an it plug. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is, um... The look on his face, though, is not... He is not happy. And, yes, her bush is all out. She needed to shave that shit up. I mean, let me stop. But, yeah, this, these, these cards, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, she got a full monkey down there. But, anyways... He looks a little unsettled. Why? He's in fear. This person is fearing facing the facing the shit that they did to you. They're fearing what it is you're going to say, how you're going to feel about it, how you truly feel about it. 
because they know they have to leave it up to chance. Like, you know, I, I gotta, I'm, I know I'm gonna hear how exactly how she felt. I'm not gonna be able to just, you know, act like this shit never happened. They needed to go through this, this, this struggle, this time apart from you to be able to evolve and to understand what it was. Like, you know, you don't treat people the way that they treated you, whether it was being scared, and not opening up and letting you know how they felt. Because what's, what's this person going to feel like eventually? What's old girl going to be looking like? Motherfucker, I feel cold. When you, I could be feeling a little bit warmer because you could have your other, you could have your other hand on me. Or just, you know, the extra support. Why do I feel half a support? Why do I feel half of you right now? Like... It's only so long as, you know, that, that old girl being butt-ass holding neck, it's only so much more time she's going to be able to go before she realizes and figures out that that's not what she had in her mind. That was not the, that was not the thought that she had in her mind when she thought about running to you for you to give her some type of, you know, to console her somehow. <clears throat> so, I'm at the eight of... I am on escape. Okay, we we doing big we uh we doing big shit here. Look at all these cars we got out here. <laughs> Look at all these cars we got out here, y'all. So <clears throat> this is um I'm like, really? I don't even understand this. <laughs> can y'all see what that is? Yes, that is her flower. That is her precious flower all exposed. And that is the bottom of her ass. I'm sorry if I'm shaking a little bit, you guys. but. And then you look like you got old girl here pointing to it like, what's up? Is this, this what you want? I heard you was looking for me. You was looking for me. You was you was wishing and hoping you had me back. Now what's up? You looking for me? So with the eight of spades, <clears throat> somebody's putting great. No, okay. So somebody's frustrated. <laughs> he, I guess he's frustrated. Your soulmate. She. They're frustrated that they can't be with you. Like, you got old girl here. Like, not only do you have, like, this bullshit here. Like, just someone just not making the move. You got her looking like, so you really not gonna make that move? You, I mean, what's up? Chris Brown comes in and says, here we are all alone in this room. This is take you down. We'll be all night. I'll take my time. <clears throat> she like, what's up? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I heard you was looking for me. Like, here it is. There it go. You see how she pointing up to it? Like, there it go. What's up? You want to take me down? What's good? I think before the, you know, it was a lot, there was a lot more fear in the union coming together on both ends. But you got people that have went through too much shit to still be in that same energy. So they like, what's up? I heard you was looking for me. <laughs> you, you trying to take, you trying, you trying to take some action. You trying to move. You got these eights here. You, you, you ready? You ready to jump? Or are we still going to pretend and, 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 and play these games? Somebody had put great effort towards seeing something be successful. So they're going to work hard for that. Like, they're going to work hard for it. They had this. You know what? I almost, I almost feel like this is like that. Um, this could be like two women. This could be also representing two women because, as you see, this is like this is like a white woman or Caucasian, and this is like a black woman. Like, I feel like it was like a shadow, a, a shadow side of this person, which it could be that too. 
but it could also just represent like you you want her or you want me this is what you want you know you you left me for what i guess pussy because all your love is here with me so that that's what you want you want this so so she could just be looking like you want this or what you won't be scared of me. You won't act like you're scared of me. Act like you can't touch on to, on me, but you chasing this out here. You out in these streets got me looking stupid. So yeah, that nobody's nobody's dealing with that. You know, being frustrated and going through that bullshit. So while he's wanting to take his time with you and take you down, meanwhile she like look. Look, fool. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> I'm gonna do it myself. Somebody evolved. Somebody improved their the way they thought about things. It's like now this person could feel like you know I ran out of batteries. I'm tired of doing this shit. Or they could feel like you know what? I'd rather. I'd rather this is safer. This is. You know, touch myself. I love myself. If this is how, if this is, if this, is, if this is me loving myself, then I love myself. I love myself. Mm, I love myself. <laughs> you know, she. I mean, look at her face though. That says I love myself. You know. So. I definitely feel like there's some upcoming success with this because both parties are ready. Something has been set into motion. This has been kicked off and set into motion. It has no other way to go. And y'all ready to shut this shit down. So shut it down by Drake just came on. <laughs> this shit ready to get shut down. If you was a star, you'd be the one I'm searching for. All the other, he talking about all the other bitches, how they just couldn't do it for him. Like, it's you. You shut it down for him. You shut all the other bitches down for him. I thought I was going to get more out of, like, you know, I guess it ain't, you know, they ain't being dirty right now. I should have hurried. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. This is some shit. But anyways, you guys, I hope y'all was entertained. You know, I hope y'all was entertained. And let me know. Get in my comments. Let me know um, what what this situation was like. Um, I know this got to resonate with somebody, y'all. Let me know. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell if you really fuck with me. <laughs> I'm about to be uploading a lot more. I'm going to definitely um, make my readings more of a priority as well as everything else 